everyone. This is Christy from Christy's Journey of Self Love. I just got a bug bite about being outside, I tell you. Anyway, I am coming to you today because I am a part of the biggest Get Healthy collab on YouTube where there's a bunch of YouTubers who are trying to lose weight and they're basically they got together and they're making videos and they're all in different places in their lives. Some have lost a ton of weight, some like me have lost 4,000 and gained 4,000 pounds and some have are just starting anyway they all have some really good advice and for me my question for this series is what mistake would you warn someone about who's just starting on the weight loss fitness health journey and I'm sorry I had to read that it was a long question anyway so watch these following videos and when you're done, the next video for tomorrow will be on Kara Get Fit. So check her out. She has a cool accent. I just like listening to her talk. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Love you. Hi, Shed for Life here. And if I had to warn someone just starting off on a weight or health journey about anything, it would be don't discover the fact that Uber now delivers McDonald's. Oh. Huge mistake. Is there somebody talking down there? Will you please? I'm sorry. I'm trying to warn these people. I'm trying to warn you. Don't do it. Uh, turns out they they stopped doing it. It's Christy from Getting Fit Over 40. Today's question is, what mistake would you warn someone about who is just starting out on their weight loss, fitness, or health journey? I would definitely warn someone about cutting their calories too much. I work in an endocrinology office and we see people on a regular basis that restrict their calories to the point that they are not eating carbs and not eating enough calories and believe it or not, your body it takes energy for your body to lose weight. Also remember, weight loss is going to be a roller coaster ride. You cannot expect to lose weight every single week. Your body is probably a lot smarter than you give it credit for. So realize there's going to be ups and downs and you can't let the downs get so bad that you quit. So that is my advice to someone just starting out. Hey guys, it's Bethany Meskel, and this question is, what mistake would you warn people about who are starting a fitness journey? And I have two answers for this. One, don't drink your calories. So instead of drinking pop or a lot of juice or anything that's high in calories um, or sugar, just substitute that with water because water does wonders for your body. Second, um, you can't out-exercise a bad diet. It's just not gonna happen. So, you really need to focus on your food and eat mindfully. That's all I got. That would be my best advice for you. Hey everyone, my name is Jenna and if I were going to give a piece of advice to someone who's just starting out any kind of journey that is going to lead them to the best version of themselves is to be honest with themselves about why they haven't made this movement first. Um, but really the biggest piece of advice I would give a beginner is to clean your house. Once your house is clean, once your environment is clean, it's a whole lot easier. Hey guys, it's Justin from My 500 Pound Story. So I would say the biggest mistake I would warn beginners who are on this journey uh, set realistic goals don't have crazy expectations and when you do find that like in the third week you have a great week be happy with it even if the next week sucks and just remember that good week because having a bad week can tear you down really quick so remember the good ones hi guys I'm Stu Unwin and I'm here to answer the question what mistake would I warn someone about from starting their own weight loss journey or fitness journey don't make big drastic cuts, changes to your daily food intake or amount of exercise that you're doing. For me, small sustainable changes 
is the way to go. My name is Miles from Fat Over 40. Uh, and for me, um, the biggest mistake people make is going for a, a, a low fat option and not always are the low fat options the most healthy option. Uh, generally, if uh, uh, now I'm talking a lot, a lot about convenience food here. Um, if there is a low fat option, it generally has the fat stripped out of it and more sugar um, pumped into it to make it taste better. So always uh, look at the ingredients uh, and look at the macros. I'm April Justine, the Keto Vegetarian, and I would tell people when it comes to weight loss, don't change too many things right up in front. Just change one thing, and once you get that down, then you can move on and change something else. Sometimes we just get way too overwhelmed with all the changes and give up altogether. This will help prevent that. Hey guys, it's Amin from Wonder Bean. Um, a mistake I would warn someone off uh, if that's just starting out on their journey, be it health, weight loss, weight gain, or fitness, is to take it one step at a time and to to gradually go into it. Uh, just like with everything in life, if you try to do too many things at once, all at the same time, it could be a recipe for failure. Some people, for some people that approach works, but I think one of the biggest mistakes some people tend to make, and I've made them so many times in my journey, or before this current journey, where I try to drink enough water, sleep enough, um, eat no more sweets, eat, drink no more pop and do like a gazillion things like that all at once in the same week and I crashed and burned after a few days because it was too much because some of these th all of these things are habits and behaviors that you've built up over some time so that means to change them it will take some time to change them and it's better to focus on one of them at a time rather than doing five of them and then failing and so that would be my biggest advice or the biggest mistake I would warn people off. Don't try to do everything at once. Be patient with be patient with yourself. You didn't get to where you are in in one day. You're not gonna get away from how you are and who you are in one day. So yeah, one thing at a time and, and make sure you've got it down pat till you try the next one. That's my advice I would give to someone or a mistake that I would suggest to avoid. Hi everyone, my name is Christy and my channel is Christy's Journey to Self-Love. The question of the day is, what is the mistake you would warn someone about who's just starting out on a weight loss journey? Well, my advice would be, do not, and I repeat, do not compare to yourself to other people. Because that was one of my biggest mistakes. Like there would be other people that lost weight and I just couldn't lose weight and usually I had the healthiest diet out there. And I couldn't understand it. So, if any advice, you have your own health journey. You're on your own journey. Don't worry about what other people are doing or what they say. Just remember, trust in yourself and trust in your own journey. And don't ever give up. Love you guys. All right, so there's everybody's answers. I hope they help you in some way. And don't forget to go to Kara Get Fit. She will have um, the next video, and I will put in the bottom, in my description, the links to um, the whole channel that this is going to be on. So you guys check it out, and check the different YouTubers out, and subscribe. Alright, love you guys. Have a great day. Mwah. Bye.